Today I'm going to show you how to renew your Windows Admin Center certificate as well as how to distribute that certificate with Group Policy. For those who don't know, Windows Admin Center is an awesome tool that lets you manage, uh, configure, and troubleshoot Windows servers as well as PCs. Uh, the best part, in my opinion, is that not only is it free for Microsoft, but you can run it in any browser such as Chrome or New Chromium Edge on any PC. Uh, so the issue we're trying to solve is that Windows Admin Center is working awesome on our gateway server here. Uh, you can see that I have a valid certificate and the connection is secure, but when I open that same web page on a different server, I immediately get a certificate is invalid error. So this is happening because of the way we set up Windows Admin Center. When installing the application, we have the option to select an SSL certificate uh, that we provide. This would be the ideal way to configure Windows Admin Center, but it will require us to use a cert from either a public CA or create one uh, in an internal CA. Uh, this is my lab environment, so I don't want to pay for a public cert and I don't have a internal CA. Uh, but I can still solve this problem by using the existing self-signed cert um, and then distributing it to any endpoints that access Windows Admin Center. So the first thing that we have to do is verify that we have a valid Windows Admin Center self-signed cert. Uh, it'd be pretty obvious if, if we didn't, as we would be getting a cert error even on our Windows Admin Center gateway server here. Uh, but let's check the certificate and verify its validity period. Uh, so you can see this is a self-signed cert from Windows Admin Center and it is currently valid. Today is the December 5th, and this is valid until January 28th. I can also verify if I go into MMC. We see our Windows Admin Center cert. and the January 28th expiration date. And then obviously if we were to launch this same cert console, on a server or PC that does not have Windows Admin Center installed, we do not have that certificate, thus we get the invalid cert error. If you do not have a valid certificate, or your certificate is expired, it's very easy to solve. You simply relaunch the installer by going into Control Panel, finding Windows Admin Center, Change. Uh, it's going to verify that you're up to date. You may need to upgrade if you are behind. Uh, we're going to Change. And here is where you are going to select um, either a cert that you're going to provide or you are going to give it a new self-signed cert and just renew the validity period. So now that we have verified that we have a valid certificate, uh, we need to export that certificate so that we can distribute it to other endpoints to access the Windows Admin Center gateway server. Uh, so we're going to go into our certificate console, certlm.msc. Uh, we're going to go to personal, certificates, find our Win Windows Admin Center self-signed cert, and we're going to export it. Uh, we do want the private key. I'm going to leave all the options as default. I'm going to throw a password on it, but you can use a security group. Give it a file name. And export. And I put that in my downloads. So it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to flip over to the domain controller where we're going to be doing this policy. Um, I'm just going to use C dollar sign to bring it over to my domain controller. And I'm just going to paste it into my local downloads folder. Now that we have the certificate on our domain controller in our local downloads folder, we're going to launch group policy management I'm going to do that by going to Server Manager, Tools, Group Policy Management, 
um, I'm going to create a new group policy, but you can certainly add this to an existing one. I'm going to call this uh, client. going to edit the new policy we created and we are going to drill down to computer configuration policies window settings security settings and we're looking for public key policies and then we want trusted root here trusted root certification authorities uh, we're going to choose import we're going to browse to our key. So it's in our downloads folder, but we need to change this to all so we can see it. Select it, open, next. Here's the password we use to encrypt it. Verify it's going into our trusted root store. And finish, successful. We'll see it populate up here. Uh, so this is a very simple policy if we close out of this. Gonna do a quick refresh. So you can see the policy here, computer configuration and our cert. I'm gonna do a quick change to disable user settings because that is not applicable to us. So now we need to verify that the certificate is being pushed to our clients. Um, so obviously make sure that you're going to an endpoint that is in this OU that we applied this to. Uh, for instance, that is this one that I used to show the certificate error. And to make this go quicker, I'm going to do a GP update force to update the policies. Okay, that's done. I'm going to go back into our MMC certificate console and I'm going to refresh. And let's go into our trusted root. Here we have Windows Admin Center. So everything looks like it's good, but we need to test with our web page here. So I'm going to reopen Edge. and paste in our link for the Windows Admin Center. Uh, so you notice that we didn't get the cert error, but I will actually log in to show you that it's working as intended. And there we go, no cert error. And we can see our certificate is valid. All right, that's about it. Um, I'll have some documentation in the description uh, with the Microsoft document for distributing cer certificates with group policy and as well as updating the Windows Admin Center certificate if you're just trying to get a new validity period. All right, thanks.